Hello, everyone. We're going to get started on our morning work. So if you would grab your morning workbook, I believe we are correcting page 60 today. Isn't that right? Yep, page 60 of your morning work. I'm going to go grab the camera real quick. There we go. Get ourselves adjusted here. All right, so make sure you're on page 60. Um, also, you should have this already finished because you worked on this yesterday. So it says, rewrite the sentence, use commas to separate the items in the series. Number one, the small town has a police station, a mall, and a donut shop. So I know that I want to put um, a comma here and a comma here. So I'm going to rewrite. The small town has a police station, comma, a mall, comma, and a donut this way. Shop, period. Okay. So put my commas in here. Number two, Dr. Miller helped me when I had a cold, the flu, and an ache. Cold and a flu and an ache. Okay. So Dr. Miller helped me when I had a cold, comma, the flu, comma, and an ache. All right. So I have you go ahead and freeze that right there if you need to. going on in the background here. Alrighty. All right, sorry for that interruption there. All right, we are on to problem three for math. It says, read the problem, solve both steps to answer the item, show your work. The Chan family has eight boxes of strawberries. Each box has 10 strawberries. If all four family members share the strawberries equally, how many strawberries will each person get? Okay, so when you think about it, they have Okay, they have 8 boxes and there's 10 in each one, right? 10 strawberries. So we basically have 8 groups of 10. So, how many strawberries do we have all together? Eight groups of 10 is 80, okay? Then it says, if all four family members share the strawberries equally, how many strawberries will each person get? All right, well, because there's an eight, I have to think about what numbers um, I use to get to eight. Well, one times eight is eight. 2 times 4 is 8. So I have a 2 in there. I wonder if I could do the 2 divided by that. So um, 80 divided by 2. And 2 goes in there 4 times. You get 40. So that's for 2 people. Okay. If I do 4 people, then I can do 80 divided by 4, and that will mean 2 times 4 is 8, and then 0 times 4 is 0. So how much will each person get? Each person will get 20. Now, we can't take this one because that's only 2 people. So unless we break that in half again, that's not the correct answer. We have to break it down by 4. 4 people. 
All right. Let me know if you have any questions on that. On the bottom, it says, does this text help you connect to things that happen in the world around you? Tell how. If someone asked you to, you to think of water, what would you think of? You might think of something like the ocean or a bottle of water. Water is all around us and we use it for many things. But what about invisible water? Invisible water is all around us too. The puddles from a windy rain, rainstorm dry up in the sun's heat, even on a cool day. As wet clothes dry out, the water goes away. If you boil a pot of water for a long time, the water disappears. Where does this water go? It goes into the air. Does this help, this text help you connect to things that happen in the world around you? So I would answer for me, yes. The text connects to the world around me because it is focusing on evaporation and how water takes three forms. Okay, they take three forms. They are a liquid, solid, and gas. Okay. If you need any part of my sentence, you are certainly welcome to. Um, I'm sure you have your own sentence that is pretty close to that same idea. All right. Okay, so we're going to go to the next page, page 61. Let's go over um, this one and then I'll have you work on it today. Okay. All right, let's see. The top part, it says, read the sentence, write a an or the to complete the sentence okay dennis found a an or the eraser in his dad's car mom told julio to get a and or the glasses out of the cupboard a hiker spotted a an or the bear in the woods and was afraid to go into a an or the basement alone okay so which one would make the most sense Okay, so we're gonna go to the bottom or the next the next part. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is it says find the perimeter. Perimeter means you're walking around the outside, outside here. We don't go inside, so we don't worry about counting anything in here. We're just going around the outside. So. Sometimes if you think of a security guard, they say, I'm going to go walk the perimeter. It means they're going to go around the property on the outside of it. So now we're going to add all of these numbers up. So we have 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4. Okay. So I know that 5 plus 5 is 10. Got those two. And 4 plus 4 is 8. Got those two. That makes 18. And then six plus six. Eight plus six is 14. Carry one more is two. So the perimeter here is 24 yards. So you're just going to add these up and write your inches, add these up and write your centimeters. Okay. All right. On the bottom, it says write one detail from the story that could happen in reality. Then write a detail that could happen only in a fantasy. Tyrese and Mar liked to eat lunch together on Saturdays. One day as they ate, they wondered what the sun tastes like. Tyrese said it looks like an orange, so it probably tastes like one too. 
Mar thought it looked like a ball of cheddar cheese. Tyrese decided that they had to find out. They brought they bought plane tickets to the sun. Guess what they discovered? It doesn't taste like an orange or cheese. It tastes like butter. Write one detail from the story that could happen in reality and then write a detail that could happen only in a fantasy. So what's something that's real about that and what's something that is made up? Okay, so you're gonna write those two sentences there. All right, so have you finished that up today and we will correct it tomorrow. And um, uh, so we'll, we'll correct that tomorrow. So make sure that you get that all finished and I will see you guys over in vocabulary.